Um, but I think back on the Angora fire, um, I was a, a division chief uh, for the unit over on the west side. It was a weekend day, I was off. They lived about the 2,000 foot level, and I was bringing my son to his friend's house. And I remember dropping him off and then walking in my truck and seeing this huge smoke column. And my phone started ringing at that point in time. It was, there was a fire in Tahoe at, at the basin. And I knew at that point in time that things would change forever. It's pretty impressive to see a smoke column on the west slope of the Sierras uh, from the east slope. Uh, but that change uh, started uh, immediately. For CAL FIRE, the next year, in 2008, um, the gov through governor's executive order, two CAL FIRE engines uh, were placed in the basin, one out of uh, the north shore, out of Carnelian uh, Bay, and the one uh, on the south shore, out of uh, Lake Valley uh, Station 5. And that was through cooperative uh, agreements uh, and cooperation with other agencies that we had to do that. And our sole purpose there was to assist the protecting agency, which was the Forest Service in this particular area, uh, for what ended up being four years. Some of our accomplishments in that time, from 2008 to 2011, we did a total of 4,899 defensible space inspections. We responded to a total of 1,339 incidents. And again, that's all risk, including wildland, medical aids, uh, traffic collisions, structure fires. Uh, proposition 40, CAL FIRE, uh, we have spent over $2 million for fuel reduction of the Tahoe Basin from 2004 through 2011. Of the $2 million exclusive Prop 40 funds, that's about $625,000 annually, from CAL FIRE for the uh, CCC and Tahoe, again, only for fuel reduction efforts on uh, California Tahoe Conservancy lands. Of the $2 million, over $1 million goes to local fire districts, California State Parks, and Fire State Council for fuel, uh, uh, for fuel reduction efforts. So where are we right now? Um, currently, our staff, we have, uh, as of right now, one, uh, one division chief, Mary Huggins, who many of you uh, well know. And her efforts uh, as a division chief, she's also an RPF, was selected to represent CAL FIRE and the Basin Local Government Fire Agencies on TRPA Advisory Planning Committee. 